So in this video, we are going to be talking about divergence. It's another really cool quantity that you can calculate with the del operator. Basically, what the divergence tells you is it's the, the divergence of a vector field at a point in space tells you how much the vector field is either flowing into or out of a, a particular point. Okay, so what do I mean by flow? So flow, or more formally known as flux, tells you the amount of vector field, you could say, that passes perpendicularly through a given surface. So for example, let's say you've got a surface S here, like a, almost like a disk, and you've got an electric field passing through perpendicular to the surface, then you basically, or actually even if it wasn't perpendicular, even if it was an angle, you'd take the perpendicular component of the force, the force that's perpendicular to the surface, and you'd multiply it, um, you'd multiply it times the, the surface area over here. And that would give you the, the, the flow or the flux. Put more formally, we say that that would be the integral of the electric field dotted with your with a differential surface area and we'll get into more examples of how to make a differential surface area but basically it's like an infinitesimally small surface area on this surface and we define it the it, at, it as a vector that points uh, normal to the surface and so uh, basically, what this is saying is you integrate the the normal component of the electric field to the surface across the entire surface, and that will give you um, the flux through that surface. So how do we calculate the divergence or the flow going into or out of a point? Well, take this example here. Let's say we pick an arbitrary point in an XYZ coordinate system, and let's just say there are electric fields in the vicinity. And basically what you could do if you wanted to calculate the, the amount of flow, you could say, going into or out of that point, you could zoom in on the point, zoom in on the point, and create a really tiny cube that goes around the point, and give it some dimensions, delta x, delta y, and delta z. It doesn't have to be a cube, um, but you could also use like a sphere or something. And basically what you do is you calculate the flow, or the integral of e dot ds, like we talked about in the previous slide, through each one of the sides of the cube, and then add them all together, calculating the, the total electric flux going through the, um, the surface. And then what you could do is you could take the limit as delta x and delta y Z and delta z go to zero. And so basically what you've calculated is um, the flux going uh, out of that little tiny point or little tiny cube. So that divergence, put in rather informal language, but it makes it easier to memorize, is basically the flux per really small cube or infinitesimally small cube. So to compute divergence, turns out we can use the fancy del operator. So the divergence of an electric field or any vector field is just equal to del dot e. So if the divergence del dot e is greater than zero, what that means is that the net flux or flow um, is, is flowing out of the point. If it's negative, then it means that there's a net flow of electric field going into that little tiny cube. So um, in a Cartesian coordinates, this is actually mathematically, it's fairly straightforward to, to calculate here. That would be del, del dot E.
Okay, so one thing you might be wondering is like, why, like, why does divergence even matter? Like, do I even care about an infinitesimally small little cube? Like, what does that have, how does that have any relevance to a larger system that is not infinitesimally small? And it turns out that there's a theorem called the divergence theorem that does relate the what's going on with these little infinitesimal cubes to something much larger. Simply put, the, the, total, the, the divergence theorem says this, and I'm using somewhat informal language just to make it easier to understand, but basically, the, the total flux through any balloon, so like through the, the surface of the balloon, or a closed surface, and it doesn't have to be like, when I say balloon, I mean it could literally be any sort of shape, but you get the idea. Closed surface. Um, it can be found by breaking the balloon volume into little cubes or infinitesimally small cubes, finding the flux through each little cube, and adding them together. So if you remember that the flux through a little cube is the divergence. And what this is saying then is that we can add them together to figure out the flux through a much larger surface, much larger cube, much larger balloon, whatever that may be. All right, so mathematically, what the way you could state this is basically you take the divergence, del del dot e over here, and that basically is the, the flux per small cube, right? And then dv, so differential volume, in Cartesian coordinates that'd just be dx, dy, dz, that's basically the volume of your, your little cube there. And so if you integrate this and basically add up the flux from all the little cubes in the volume, then you will get the total uh, electric, uh, or total flux through that, that, enclosed, that enclosed surface. And this little symbol here, by the way, that little circle symbol just means that here, if we have like a, a closed surface, or even just, yeah, like a, like a balloon, basically, uh, that circle means that we've integrated across the entire the entire surface of of the balloon. So this the formula I've written down here basically describes this much more informal explanation. But hopefully this makes it easier to understand. So that's basically what divergence is. If you would like some more mathematical details on how you derive this. I would highly recommend you check out Feynman's lectures on physics. I have included a link in the description below this video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.